OMG's latest advancement in technology and service, the all-new Toe Marketing Center. Toe Marketing Center is where your marketing products are powered and where our team is maximizing results. OMG Toe Marketing Center allows you to check in on your schedule, on your device, and to discuss performance with the Toe team at your convenience. Visit omgtoemarketing.com. Recovery Roundup, brought to you by OMG Toe Marketing. Hi, I'm Emily Oz for Toe Industry Week. It's another edition of Recovery Roundup where we feature towing's power players take on heavy-duty jobs with expertise. Let's imagine for a second you have five rotators in your fleet, including the only 75-ton rotator in Los Angeles. That's the situation at Pepe's Towing Service in California, a third-generation family business built from the ground up beginning in 1978. Specializing in heavy-duty work and having many, many of these cliff recoveries under his belt we called up that third-generation towman, Josh Acosta, to hear about what it's like to retrieve a Mustang off this 400-foot cliff. On this day, the Hulk was leading the charge, their 50-ton Century Rotator on a Peterbilt. We get called, I would say, close to about at least once a month at minimum for these giant cliff recoveries, so I more or less know what to expect when we show up. Uh, I already came with extra choker cable because the trucks have 250 feet of cable on them. So I already know to expect to bring more just in case. On this one, you couldn't even see the car from the street we were at. That's why I carry a, a drone with me in my truck. I use the drone to fly it up in the air and I locate the lots of trees and shrubbery and the vehicles can be within them. So it's very difficult to, to see. You need to locate where the car is so you know how to position your truck and how you're gonna hike down. That way you can avoid little cliffs and other and other uh, things that are dangerous. So the first step in the recovery, obviously, is the hike down to the vehicle because we somehow attach our chains or straps from my truck to the vehicle over 400 feet down. First step was to have my flatbed driver Castro. He was gonna he, he did the initial hike and he went down there with the extra choker cable to walk it down because there's no other way to get the extra cable from the truck at the top of the hill to the car at the bottom of the hill and it has to be done manually and when he got to a certain point close to the car there was a cliff as seen in the video the one i had to repel down he couldn't go any further and it was too dangerous for him to do it solo so then i had to also go down there uh with the harness i keep a harness inside of hulk specifically for jobs like this in case i need to be winched over something or i gotta repel it on somewhere i have a harness so i went down there and I, I, I took over the car and i finished the job to hike down there to hook up to the mustang all right now that castro was set up we got all our stuff he's gonna take the initial descent i want to stay up here and monitor the cables to make sure it doesn't wrap out once i'm on five layers on the drum I know I'm maxed up. I'll finish the rest of the hike and meet him down there with the last choker. Ah, well, use these bad boys. These are legit. Here you go. Throw that on. These are setcom. No base station required. We got them in uh, each heavy and rotator. These things are bad, man. You just turn them on, and that's it. So once it's, I feel it's secure, um, I stand to a distance on the side and I start winching in with my cable. I got a wireless remote, by the way, so I can, I don't have to be at the truck to control the levers. Once I do that and I get tension on the car, you just pull enough to where it moves a bit and that's how I know it's mine. Then from there, I start making my way up back the hill and stopping every like 50 feet or so to winch the car in and have it follow. And then I go up 50 feet more and then I look at the car and I keep winching in until it's towards the top. Got my harness, just to be safe, let me do this last little safety. All right. Ready, Castro? Ready. Man. I'm gonna be repelling and oh, yeah. All right, give me slack. Just start giving me slack. Just keep giving me slack, man. Oh, shoot, this is crazy. <laughs> Go. In reality, hooking up to a car with a massive tow truck like mine is, is easy. It's almost overkill. 
the challenge itself is the terrain, is getting to the vehicle. If this was on the freeway, you know, you park next to the car, it's a no-brainer. It takes you minutes. On something like this, um, it's the terrain. They're not like hiking cliffs, not somewhere that you would just go and, hey, let's hike in this area. Oh, there's a car here. It's not meant for people walking, so there's no path. There's no trails. There's shrubs everywhere. I mean, there could be holes that they look like it's ground, but, it, you know, you fall through it. There's the danger of snakes. And you also have the heat to worry about because it's sunny California, it's always hot here. And there's one other essential item that we keep in all of our rotators and it's our wireless headsets because there's there's no there's no cell service up here. My cell service died on this call about three miles before I hit you know my location. So we use uh, wireless headsets with the high range. So as I'm down there, uh, you know I could have a driver a thousand feet down the cliff, and I'm up at the top and we're in clear communication with each other. And I think that's also a very very vital part. Okay, Castro. Around the rim, uh, put the hook at. Let me show you really quick. Hold on. You'll see. Should I just J hook it? Right? Right here, actually. Do the same on your end. Thanks, Josh. Please consider submitting your recovery to be featured on the Roundup. Visit recoveryroundup.com. Thanks for watching.